Hi friends of Cocktails! Today we're making cocktail bitters. In a recent episode I mentioned using a martini mix or my homemade bitters, combining spruce tips, lemon, orange and grapefruit bitters. I've gotten a few messages asking about the mix and my homemade bitters. So I decided to show you how to make one of my favorite homemade bitters. Old Spice, also known as pimento bitters. These have a rich, spicy, warm, almost festive flavor, so they are perfect addition to your fall and winter cocktails. I've done the episode on homemade orange bitters a long time ago. That recipe has changed and developed since then, so if you'd like to see a new version of it, let me know in the comments. But we'll be doing other bitters from this collection as well, if that's something you'll find interesting and useful. And you can already get the recipes for my grapefruit and lavender bitters when you sign up to the Cocktail Times newsletter on my website, givingcost.com. Now with all the formalities out of the way, it's Cocktail Bitters time! If you're looking to take a deep dive into the non-potable cocktail bitters rabbit hole, and it's a deep one, trust me, these books are a great starting point. Handcrafted Bitters by Will Budiaman, Bitters by Brad Thomas Parsons, and for Rapid Infused Bitters, Liquid Intelligence by Dave Arnold. I leave links for them in the description. These were the books that helped me understand the basic principles of different bitters. I've made plenty of different batches, which usually take up to a month to infuse, to learn what works best. And now I want to share what I've learned with you. So here's what you'll need to make Old Spice Bitters. I know, this seems like a lot of different ingredients, so why are we calling it Old Spice Bitters? That's because all of this will complement and elevate each other, with Old Spice being the dominant flavor. We have some flavoring agents, two bittering agents, a solvent to extract the flavors from everything, and a little bit of sugar. Usually I'd place all ingredients into a mason jar and leave it sealed to infuse for three weeks, but open it every day and give everything a stir. Today, however, I'll show you how you can make bitters in one day using a sous vide technique. So I'll add all the ingredients into a sous vide bag, starting with the start of the day, 17 grams of lightly crushed dried allspice or pimento berries. Follow that with the rest of the flavoring agents, 2 grams of dried orange peels, 1 gram of a vanilla bean, cut lengthwise, and scrape out some of the seeds, 1 gram of Ceylon cinnamon, half a gram of cloves, half a gram of coffee beans, lightly crushed as well, half a gram of star anise, and 2 crushed cardamom seeds, not pots, but just 2 seeds from a single pot. Next are the two bittering agents, 1 gram of chisona bark and 1 gram of quassia chips. I'll leave links to some of these ingredients and a precision scale in the description. And like mentioned, we need something to extract all of the flavors. Today I'm using rum, 240 ml of plantation overproof rum, which sits at 69% ABV and has a really nice funk to it. In general, higher ABV content means more extraction, but since some ingredients are only soluble at a certain ABV, I lower the alcohol content to 55%. To do that, I'll need to add 60 ml of water. To get the numbers right, I used an online calculator, which I'll link to below as well. Then vacuum and seal the bag, and place it in the sous vide, set to 65 degrees Celsius, or 150 degrees Fahrenheit, for 6 hours. These conditions will do what 3 weeks at room temperature on the countertop would do. Once this is finished, let it cool off, before opening the bag and straining our bitters in the making. We need to get the ABV of this down to 45%, but we don't want to just pour in water and thin out the flavors. So we'll place the strained solids back into the same sous vide bag and pour in a small amount of water, enough to cover everything. So we'll be infusing the water that will be used to lower the ABV. One hour at 65 degrees Celsius or 150 degrees Fahrenheit should be enough. Again, if you don't have a sous vide, you can just place all of that in a small pot over medium heat and infuse the water that way. Once the sous vide has done its job, you'll again filter out the solids. To get the numbers right, you need to measure the amount of bitters we got after straining. I ended up with 240 ml, and since I know this was 55% ABV, we need to add 55 ml of our 0% ABV infused water. And lastly, a touch of sweetness, 3 ml of 1 to 1 temerara syrup for every 60 ml of bitters. I have 295, so I'm adding 15 ml. Mix and that's your flavors done. But these bitters would make your next old fashioned look a little off. One reason is because we haven't filtered out all the tiny particles yet. And the other is the essential oils. When you chill them while stirring the cocktail with ice, everything would become a little opaque, hazy, cloudy, foggy, murky. We'll get rid of that by placing them in a the freezer for about an hour before filtering. 
That way the holes will solidify and get caught by the filter, which are quick shield as well. This will also very effectively catch all the small particles that went through the mesh strainer before. For best results, place this back in the freezer or fridge as it filters and give it time. Once that's done, just put your allspice bitters into a small dasher or dropper bottle and don't forget the label. Homemade bitters not only elevate your home cocktail game, but also make a great gift for everyone that's into cocktails. And something that has been a gift to all of us is the support from so many of you, especially from our patrons, who help us make this show. Our latest top tier patron to join the Cocktail Time Wall of Fame is James Queen. Cheers, James. Welcome to the set. As for the bitters, the full written recipe is available on my website, but I'd highly suggest you also take your own notes when making them, in case you change anything or want to adjust the second batch to your taste. Next week, we'll use these bitters to make a fall twist on a classic cocktail. I'll see you then. Cheers, friends of cocktails.